You may recall that I ended my presentation with a new thing. And so to introduce, this, to, to introduce this new thing, I need to tell you a little bit about myself. I have the same education, more or less, of these guys. Um, political science, business economics, political economy. Um, as life happens, I landed a job in the School of Public and Environmental Affairs in Indiana University. I started with political economy and uh, once I got tenured and then I became full, I just said, okay, I now can do whatever I want. And I just started to drift toward the role of the environment. And um, I am coming to believe that we are researching to a great extent the problems of yesterday. This is not the main game in town anymore. Um, sure, capitalism um, can do a lot of harm, it can do a lot of good, uh, it can play a role in promoting wars or uh, not, but capitalism itself doesn't occur in a vacuum. It occurs on planet Earth. And there is a basic contradiction between the capitalistic paradigm, which is more, never enough, more, more consumption, more profit, bigger economic growth, bigger system. Oh my God, the economy only grew 1.5%. Oh my God, uh, he's doing economic policies that are contracting the economy. Well, this cannot continue forever. So there are two possibilities. Um, and it's, it's like a, a, a game of what is more risky. Um, if we continue with the current capitalism, we know what happens to the environment. It's going to be screwed up. It's already beginning to screw up. I know that a lot of people in the United States uh, much under the influence of capitalists. They say that uh, global warming and climate change doesn't occur, but the fact of the matter is that 98% uh, of scientists in the world say it does. So if the system around us within which capitalism operates begins to crumble, then if it were up to me, I would put all of my money in researching what does it mean to do capitalism in the system where Temperatures are rising, land productivity declines, water becomes scarce, uh, food becomes scarce, uh, salinity of the land uh, goes up, uh, uh, migration, uh, illegal and legal, uh, starts to swell up because people are running away from uh, areas that are bad environments, uh, disasters become stronger and stronger. We see all of that happening in front of our eyes. We cannot shut our eyes to that. So what does it mean? Okay, so one solution, would be, and this to me should be the main game in town right now. How do we slow down the system? We run away from the paradigm. We say, okay, we can do private ownership and all of that game, but there has to be some limits that come from science that say, how much profit? How much consumption right now? Or we say, well, you know, our only hope to escape from Earth is to continue the path we are right now because capitalism is an engine for innovation. We know that from, from the past and hopefully we will be able to escape from this place because we completely destroyed. To me, this trade-off is probably the most important problem of our time and definitely the time of the people after me and their offsprings. Um, and this is where I think we should put most of our research right now, to what extent this game that we call the capitalist system that wants to have more and more and more and more and more is sustainable uh, by the constraints that are put on it by the natural environment.